guys, it's Nuf and Alec here from Better Music, uh, here to talk to you about the new Boss bass compressor, BC1X. Um, I just want to stress right here at the start, to get the best results for this video, we would like it if you could use maybe a really good set of headphones or a good set of studio monitors, just so you get the full effect. We're trying to demonstrate something that's like trying to describe what the color blue tastes like. So bear with us um, at the end, yeah, if, uh, if you could drop in some comments or questions down below, we'll try and get back to you. All right, uh, yeah, the brand new pedal from Boss, the BC1X bass compressor, like we said, it's um, a multi-band bass compressor. What is multi-band? Multi-band is affecting, obviously, different frequency points. So, uh, main feature of this little guy is that it's gonna leave the fundamental note of the bass alone. Other multi-band compressors uh, can tend to over-squish, this kind of thing, but uh, you'd have to spend a lot of money for one that doesn't. So this one's nice and simple. Uh, it's pretty hard to get a bad sound mm. out of this little pedal. We've tried to squish it and make it sound as bad as it can and we can't do it. So no, it, it's a challenge to you, make it sound bad. Yeah, these, these dials in pretty much any setting, um, it's always gonna be very, very usable. This also has a really cool feature. Uh, it's got 18 volt operation. That all comes from a single nine volt battery. The headroom is there uh, for when you're using things like a Warwick bass or any other bass that has a massive preamp on board putting out a whole lot of signal. It won't get over compressed or too squishy. Now you can uh, see what you're doing uh, on the fly really quickly by scanning the little LED bar down the bottom. Uh, you can see it in the dark quite well. Alec is just gonna give us a bit of an example. He's gonna start off playing quite soft and then pick it up, play a little bit harder. You'll see the compression kicking in. Yep, cool. So. really see it as well when we're attacking with slap, slap sort of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what compression is? That's another big question. Okay, in a nutshell, really, really basically, okay, compression, we're going to lift up anything that's really, really quiet, so anything like your transient notes. Um, uh, and on the opposite side of that, you've got any notes that are really, really loud, they're gonna come down a little bit, just fitting it into a nice, tight, more focused space. Um, but never at any point does this pedal over compress and squash your sound so you lose dynamics. Uh, like we said earlier, you really can't kill your sound at all. The, every setting on here is completely usable. It just won't let you kill your sound while retaining the fundamental uh, bass note, the, the low note. That's the reason we play bass. Uh, super easy to fit onto any pedal board, including the BCB30 and 60 uh, by Boss. Uh, there's also got a digital uh, noise reduction circuit on board. Uh, so like I was saying before, anytime you're bringing up any of those really quiet sounds, you do get a little bit of hiss in the background, that will be eliminated by this pedal. So that's another cool little feature on board. And that's something that's really breaking boundaries with this compressor. It's not as noisy as you'll find a lot of compressors are, which is great. Okay, so we're just going to talk about what this bass compressor can do and what controls it has to, to do that, right? So we've already talked about it being a multi um, band compressor. So what that's meaning is it's affecting, it's not just affecting a single frequency in the spectrum, but it's also looking at attacking the, the lowers, the lower, the higher, the mid frequencies in certain areas and also at certain amounts. So you, that's how this compressor is able to give you a very usable sound with such really limited controls, but it just ease of use controls. Yeah. What they've done is that they've brought across the controls from your standard boss pedals, like something as simple as your DS1 or 
MT2, you know, all the all your uh, classic boss pedals, uh, they, they've given you that style of control on something very professional. They've yeah. made it very compact, very, very, very user friently. Yeah. Um, and now, like, just running through a few settings, I guess. Sure. So what we have is we've got a level control, which is obviously going to affect how much volume we're getting from the signal. So if I turn that up, we're going to boost the signal. Which hopefully didn't go too crazy and clip all the sounds there. Second, we've got a release function. And typically on a rele the release function on a compressor is how long it's going to take until the compressor lets go of the sound. It stops squeezing that sound. So after it gets below a certain decibel or a certain threshold, it's going to release the, um, the sound again. Then we've got a ratio, and what the ratio is talking about is how much the compressor, once it passes that threshold, how much it's actually going to squish and bring down that sound. And then that threshold. So the threshold is talking level of volume. So if we're going all the way here, you're going to have to play very loud for the compressor to kick in. And if we take it all the way back to here, it's very soft for the compressor to kick in. So you'll see, you'll hear now, it's really quite kind of cut and you can hear it kind of if I... You can hear it's really affecting that sound, but if I push it further back this way, you can see on the dial, on the control there, it's not doing anything to the compression. Bring it back and let's find where it's starting to kick in. So it's just starting to kick in there. Take it a bit more. And now we're getting that compression kicking in. So let's take it back a bit. And let's say, let's get a quite a squish sort of sound. So this is it running the compressor really quite hard. Um, So you can see with that uh, with that dial there, it's really it's it's squishing it a lot. But mm -hmm. even to me, that sounds like a usable sort of sound. Extremely usable. Do you want to? Can you just play that again? Yep. If I can remember then, what I played. <laughs> and then we'll switch it off just to do the comparison. Sure. Translates, translates through on your speakers. If not, like we said before, try and use a good set of uh, headphones or um, some good studio monitors to hear that. Um, but I guess we really want to stress: if you can, come in store and try it. It's that. It's not an effect. Uh, what we're doing, we boss are trying to bring the studio compressor to the everyday player so you can take it out and use it live so you've got that pro sound mm. and it's something everyone uses a compressor differently like i mean i might not use and it also depends on the situation that you're playing in as well if you want something to really cut through and you don't want all these transients coming through in your sound or you're getting a lot of noise from your bass and you want to kind of even out the sound and stop make like pick strokes you know pick yep, strokes, pick strokes trying to even out your pick strokes. A compressor will really help with something mm -hmm. like that. And I find it also on some of the uh, like passive basses, we don't have a passive one here with us today, but I found with some of those, like a more vintage style instrument, you do have those, let's call them like dead spots mm. uh, on various parts of your bass. If you've got one of these basses, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, just by adding a little bit of compression, just evens everything out. So if you've got like a dead spot higher up on the neck, you're going to have the same sort of impact as it will lower down on the neck. Uh, very, very usable. And you'll probably wonder why you didn't have one of these on your board yeah. all this time. It should be issued to every bass player at yeah. birth. I'm already starting to think of myself sitting here today. <laughs> Anyone, right? Yeah. Excellent. So we just want to thank you guys for watching this presentation on the bass compressor BC1X. Uh, we really, really would appreciate it if you guys would throw in some comments uh, down below. We want to encourage a discussion about this. Uh, like I said, it's not an effect. It's something we really need to sort of talk about with other bass players. Um, 
uh, and really would like to stress also come in store get in store try one of these things out uh, let us know either via the comments below uh, Facebook email call us you can speak to Alec or myself we're real people you can call us email us and again guys thanks so much for watching appreciate Thank you. it Thank you.